So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this exact animation. Um, I'm not going to into details on rendering or material at this point. This is just very basic rigid bodies with a time ramp slow motion effect. So we're back in our default view here. And uh, the first thing I want to do is just create a plane for our cube to crash into. So first shift A, add a plane, scale that up quite large. While I have the plane selected, I'm just going to add a physics setting for it, rigid body, and I'll choose the type passive. Then the next step is to move the cube upwards. So left click the cube, click the move tool and drag it. So it's out of frame. You can see that by pressing zero that our cube is way out of frame. Pressing zero to go back again. So in order to chop up the cube, first you have to enable cell fracture in the preferences. So go to edit, hit preferences, and in add-ons type cell. And this box will not be ticked in your blender. So just click this box and hit save preferences. Close this window. Now we can, while having the box selected, press F3. And we're going to type in cell. Cell fracture selected mesh objects. Up comes this window with a lot of settings. Ignore everything here. Just take the noise and drag it to one and press OK. Now you can see that my my box has been chopped up into different pieces, but it's overlaying on the old reference cube. So I have to delete that. Uh, and the, the cube is over here. So I'll just choose cube in this scene collection and delete it. Just hit delete and boom, there it goes. Now, now we just have our cube in pieces ready for physics. So hit Z on your keyboard and go to wireframe mode. Click B and box select all the pieces inside. Then hit F3 and we'll type in add rigid. And then up comes rigid body, add rigid bodies. So click this. Now a good thing is to uh, change your um, setting for frame rate. So you're working in the correct frame rate before starting animation. So I'll click this window right here, this output property, and I'll choose 30 for my frame rate. You can choose 60 if you want, that's up to you. And then now we have our plane here with the rigid body passive setting and our shrapnel or our small pieces all have rigid body active. So in order to start the simulation, I'm just going to press C to go to solid view again. And I'm just going to hit play. That's that's our animation. Let's see that from the camera perspective. I'll go backtrack a bit. I hit zero to go out of camera view and I want to to select control select all my cube cells here and rotate so my my uh, simulation looks a much uh, a bit more spread out when it lands on the plane so I'll try again I just rotated my cube and I'll hit play again there you go there's a more interesting simulation I think now we can see that the box crashes to the ground and dissolves into the smaller pieces. 
So while I have all these selected, I'm going to bake the animation or the simulation to keyframes. So in order to do that, with my cube pieces selected, I'm going to go to Object, and I'm going down to Rigid Body, and all the way down to Bake to Keyframes. Now it will say Bake from 1 to 250, that's my current setup. You can also change the length of the animation if you're having a longer ty type or style of simulation. But 1 to 250 for this is just fine. So I'll click OK. And now you can see that Blender has generated a keyframe for every single piece. But my... Uh, so now when, when I now I can scroll back and forth like it's an actual animation. And you can also also delete separate pieces if you want uh, when you have baked it to keyframes. But I'm going to control click all my cubes here, and I'll just drag in this timeline window and see where my animation stops around there. I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect all my keyframes. I'm going to scroll down a bit and hit B and click and drag and just delete my, we can call it the dead keyframes. They're, the keyframes are just there with micro jitters in the simulation, but we really don't need them for this project. So hit delete and enter. Now, next up, we can do the uh, the time stall effect or the, the slow motion effect. So we have this going in real time, crashing in the ground and stopping. So a good place to, to initiate the slow motion effect is where the box is about to spread out, has the most impact. So around right around here, this may differ from your project, but frame 42 for me, and I'll cl click B and drag and release, and I'll hit G on my keyboard and drag all my keyframes to the right. Now, the more you drag it, the more space between your keyframes, the longer the slow motion bit will, will look. So let's have a look at this part now. You can see you have this cool like time ramp effect. So the next thing to do is uh, add colors to your scene and when you're finished with adding ma materials to your scene you can position your camera and you can also render this using output properties and go to output choosing ffmpeg video and just choose the uh, the last keyframe in your animation 122 for me i'll click that and you can just go up here render render animation. I won't do that for this tutorial. This is just a very quick way to uh, to do a simple simulation. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, please check out my other videos. I have try I'm trying to upload as many videos as I possibly can now when I have the time and um, I'm very happy to uh, see that much interest in my videos and there's more to come so uh, please subscribe, please leave a comment if you have any questions I'll be happy to, to answer them.